Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So, um, first of all, thank you guys all so much for the comments on the last video. The kids are getting better, but they're still really sick and Gage has developed some complication where he actually can't walk or put weight on his calves um, because the flu virus is attacking the calf muscles. It's got a name, it's called um, benign acute myositosis or something like that. Um, I'm totally messing up the pronunciation of it. Anyway, it's a scary deal. And um, I just mention it because if you ever have, your kids have the flu and they wake up and they're like, I can't walk mommy or I can't walk daddy. I don't want you to panic and freak out kind of like we did. So I, I really haven't done hair in a while, so I thought this would be something that I could do that would be helpful and useful to you guys. A lot of you had asked about the hair that I did for my recent blogger conference. Um, so I thought it would be helpful, and then also it's relatively easy for me to do in a, in a, in a timely manner so that I can get back to the kiddos and my mom. Um, so that's why I'm doing hair today. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Um, and you guys will let me know, you know, I've, it's been a while, and I really do love hair, and I really do have a lot of ideas for hair so I'm happy to kind of you know maybe do these once a month or once you know maybe twice a month but anyway so let's get going um, first thing you know you need to have round I would round brush your hair um, dry so that you have a little bit of a flip in your ponytail like this it doesn't have to be dramatic but your pony you want it to be sleek and you want it to have that little flip so if you round brush your hair you're gonna get the flip if your hair is too clean, you know what I mean? Like just too shiny and clean, you may wanna dirty it up a little bit up here with some dry shampoo or, or hairspray. That's gonna help create a little more volume on the top. Then you're gonna get a brush or a comb, whatever you like to use. This is what I use to tease the top of your hair. And I promise you this hair, once you get it, it's five minutes, so easy. Okay, I'm just gonna be kind of a giant head in the frame so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So you've got that section of hair like this and then I just brush it straight and then I just literally tease, 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 tease. Okay, so when I tease the top, that's what I end up with and it's a little bit <laughs> crazy, right? So what I do is I will smooth it out a little bit. And I see that this side is already kind of drooping a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take another little section of the front and tease that. Okay, and then smooth it out. I'm gonna grab my brush that has the boar's, head, boar's hair so that it really pulls every little piece of hair and gets out all of the bumps. Okay, so I'm just pulling the whole thing back into a ponytail and I'm really paying attention to the sides to see that there's no lumps or bumps in the back. Okay, and then you can see like there's a clear bump here and then it's not blended in. So I'm just going to carefully kind of blend the poof into the pony. You don't want to brush it out too much because then you're going to lose all your volume, but you don't want it to look like it wasn't purposeful. Okay, so that side looks pretty good. Now we're just working on this side. That's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm gonna put my ponytail in. Okay, my ponytail's in. Brush that out. Now sometimes this happens where your top sort of puffs down a little bit and you may have to kinda pull pieces out just to get it fluffed back up. So once I've pulled out a few pieces and I'm happy with the poof, it's pretty smooth. So now what I'm gonna do is I would spray the top. 
and make sure that it's really going to stay put. And then there's just one last finishing touch and that is to wrap the hair around the ponytail holder. And so what I do is I just take a little piece from underneath like this. I wrap it around the ponytail like three times depending on the length of your hair. Now here I could use a bobby pin and pin it, but what I do is just tuck it under the rubber band. And there you go, you have it wrapped around your hair and it looks, it looks like you've really taken the time to do your hair in this very sophisticated ponytail, but it's really very simple, very easy to do. It's a great way to show off earrings. It's a great way to show off shoulders. You know, if you have an off shoulder top or a halter top like I'm wearing, you want to, or a dramatic back that you want to show off. This is a really lovely way to wear your hair to show those things off. Um, or if it's very humid and you don't want to monkey around with that, you can do this, this hairstyle to get it all off your face. Um, it's, it's really nice too when you're a little bit older and you want to look a, bit, a little bit more youthful, a ponytail always makes you look a little bit more youthful. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I have a lot more hairstyles I could do if you guys like these kind of videos. But anyway, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget about um, the blog. I I'm in the process of changing the website. It's gonna change a little bit over the next couple weeks, so don't be surprised if you're like clicking on and it looks totally different. Um, I'm also doing an email newsletter that's exclusive for subscribers only, so if you subscribe to the blog, you'll get access to that newsletter with um, content that you won't find anywhere else. I'm also on Instagram at Busby Style, and when my kids are not sick, I'm Snapchatting. <laughs> so be sure to follow me on Snapchat too, that's Busby Style. So anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.